There goes the tree branch. Okay, I think the tree is pretty... Oh, I just dropped it. How did that piece go on? Why am I doing that? Okay, there. So this is Sing Bao's forest adventure. XP150. How many pieces is this? I have no idea how many pieces this is. Testing for focus, height, and all that jazz. Dear, why are you still trying to look like Mickey Mouse? Where's your nose, man? It fell off, okay? I miss Mickey Mouse now. That's okay. What are you doing with this on your back? Do I have to review this one? Yeah, this one's getting dusty too, man. I gotta clean these sets up. Whew. All right, you ready? Now you ready? Yeah, everybody ready? Everybody sitting down now? I'm losing light outside. Throw this out over there. Okay, let's do this. All right, you guys, welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and here it is, the final video for the forest adventure from Zing Bao. If you haven't seen the other two, go check them out here. They're a lot smaller. This is as big as it gets. We're doing the last two right now. You know, the whole idea, you know, the story behind it. Actually, there's no story behind it. It's a new theme. Let's just jump in and take a look at this one right here. Let's do it. So this is Sing Bao's forest adventure, Field Survival. XB15005, 1,021 pieces. Something's vibrating really loud. What is that? It's scaring me too, Scotty. We got some bass for this video. Let's see if it goes away. Go away, base. Go away. Still there. Still there. I still have my sunshine. Sunshine, stay there. There. Okay, the base has faded away. Let's look right into this. All right, so you got here what looks like a tree house. I actually quite like it. It's not really an adventure thing. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe it's a hideout or lookout tower, but it's kind of cool. It reminds me of those video games like Far Cry, Climb a Tower. Not much of a tower, it's more like a tree. And on the bottom here, there's a lot of bright green down there. Unfortunately, I was missing one piece. Man, and that's gonna happen when you buy this kind of set. I'm really kind of chill about that, you know, but if you do order from us, which these are available, you know, we can find you the missing pieces. Just take some time. Man, those guys just don't care about sending us the pieces to send to you. Maybe I'll just send you mine. But anyway, there's one piece that was missing down there and you really can't tell at all. But I like that bright green look down there. It makes this thing kind of look like a marsh down there, like it's wet. You got a frog, look, our first animal on the set. It's a freaking frog, right there. All right, so we got this tree and it's got some branches and little vines that are hanging off of it. What I like here on the top part is this ball joint. They have a couple here, or these joints that you can act, add your own branches on here. You can kind of decorate them. It's a little bit loose, like it does come down because maybe this is a little bit too heavy here. But it's cool, you can adjust all these branches the way you'd like it to go. Hey buddy, what's up? Can I get a high five? High five right there, yeah. Psh. Very cool indeed, I like that. And then we come here to the top with the tree house. Okay, so it's plain on the inside, there's nothing there. You do have a ladder that can go up and the side walls, they're really fragile, man. These things might actually pop off. Be careful when you're putting it together. It's kind of easier to just take the whole rooftop and then follow the instructions, man. Just follow the instruction and you'll be fine. But it looks cool. I like this look of the chain hanging there and this green little flag that's popped up there. And I really like this rooftop. It is cool. It reminds me of the fishing store. And actually there's a vehicle in the next set that we're gonna see in a second that I really, really like. Same idea, same concept. And I love the little wheels on the top. That's so cool. It just makes it look kind of like grungy or someone's been living here for a while and they're going on an adventure. I don't know, but that is actually pretty cool. I like it. It's a nice little set. Now we come to the bigger part which is this set right here, which you guys are probably staring at for a long time. Look at that thing. And some of you mentioned, looks something like out of Monkey Island or an inspiration. I don't know if Lego actually makes this set. These guys are trying to become more original. I'm not sure if that's really happening. Man, I hope you're original. First thing really cool. Yeah, it's a big monkey head throne type of thing going on. This is very, very Indiana Jones like, cool idea. Couple of things I do have to nitpick about. Plate is really, thin, it's, it's kind of top heavy here. So if you're gonna shift and move this thing around, pieces can actually fall off really easy. Especially the woods here on the side, it's all hanging on just like one stud. So these things can just, you know, they can fall off really easy. Dude, it's that bass thing again. That bass sound is back, can you guys hear that? I can feel that. 
What are they doing? Well, hopefully it's not bothering you. You know what? If you ever wanted to know what it's like living with ringing in the ears, what I have, that's kind of what it's like. like, But in a much higher frequency. Anyway, I hope that's not too distracting. It's a Sunday today. What are they doing? Everyone should be off of work. Anyway, let's move on. We'll look at the front here. I love the design of the monkey face. If I recall correctly, it was actually pretty okay to put together. I didn't have any missing pieces on here, surprisingly. The head does move back and forth like that. I'm not sure if you can see it there. Yeah, kind of like... But if you tilt it forward, you gotta be really careful. It's gonna shift some things around. It's supposed to just sit like that, and you're not supposed to touch it, and you can sit inside the throne. I like the color. It's actually very different. It's got this weird green and this brown beigey type thing. I like the teeth. I think his ear is actually pretty neat. Chair inside is very simple. You can adjust if you want to pull it back. What's interesting, it's actually on this kind of plate that shifts. It doesn't need to be on that. It could just be like slotted in, but maybe they wanted to put it in this kind of an angle. I don't ask me, man. Go out to designer. I didn't design this thing. Behind this throne, there's actually a little bit of space, but it's kind of hard to get to. There's a flag back there. I guess that's the emblem of whoever owns this place. That's interesting. So you got a little staircase there, and then finally you got the little totem pole. Did I put this in the wrong spot? I sure did, huh? It's supposed to be over here. I like the little skeletons there, and the little flames coming up the top. Makes this thing look a little bit more evil, yeah? And that comes to this section here on the side. Might not be the greatest thing for kids to see. Look, it's our next animal here, the monkey. Yeah, a little monkey hanging there. So the totem pole has individual faces, which is really interesting. That one on the bottom looks Scary. Might be a little bit too scary for kids. You know, your kids might have nightmares. This is actually very interesting. The head pieces, I think it's a patent problem that came along with Lego, right? So I'm gonna show you in a close up right now. I have two versions here. They actually came with two. On the top of this head is round. You see that? But the top of this head is like a hexagon shape. But this hexagon shape actually causes more problems because it's quite loose and it doesn't fit quite well in some of these studs. Hope they refine that later. So that is a piece problem again, that's not by me. That's them. And look, we got a snake, finally. These are all the animals that you're gonna get. And then you have, of course, the most morbid looking thing of a skeleton doing some gymnastics. I guess that's what you can tell your kids. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing gymnastics, guys. He's doing some pull-ups. He's not hanging or he's not dead. He's just there. I know, it's a little bit morbid, right? It's okay, kids. The skeleton is doing some pull-ups. Hey man, it could have been hanging from its neck and you know, we don't want we don't want that, right? And you got more skeleton heads there. I guess that's to just get more of a scary look that you don't want to be in this place. And the plate is actually on the on a hinge there, so you can kind of give it two looks like that. It's entirely up to you how you'd like to design it. And you got another little tree here. The tree, can it be adjusted? Sure can. So you can adjust these things. And even the, the guy that's hanging, he's on a hinge part there. So you can kind of like put them in an angle and you can adjust these, you know, that's actually kind of cool. I like how you can look like it's animated a little bit and like put it in a tilt position. But there you go. That is the set. What do you guys think? Yeah? Do I have to do a drop test on this again? Damn, man. I'm actually not scared of the dropping part. I'm scared of how to put this all back together. One, two, three. Oh, we'll go backwards, all right? Three, two, one. Oh, look at that. Only the monkey came off. Nothing came off. We're gonna keep it like that. I don't wanna do it any higher than that, all right? Oh, we still got to do the tree house. Three, two, one. One, one, one. Cool. Like I said, I don't wanna do it too high because I know it's gonna shatter. Sorry to disappoint you guys. I make the video look nice. Fine, we'll do it a little bit higher. I have confidence in this one, he'll be fine. Oh, only the rooftop came off. I'm satisfied with that. I almost forgot the minifigures, so before we jump into the next set, let's check them out. Of course, they're almost all the same. Actually, no, they're different. Scientist, it's the same with his magnifying glass. I've seen him many times already. So let's jump to the next one, which is Explorer. He has his backpack here. Again, we've probably seen him like four times already. Oh, now we come to the new guys. All right, so we got Warrior. He's got a spear. Look at his teeth, man. He looks angry. Printing looks okay on these guys, and I like how the skin tone is like slightly different. So that's cool. And the printing on the chest 
this neat necklace. Looks like he has some bones hanging down. Very cool indeed, I actually like him. Man, they kind of look scary. And the printing around the eyes too, look at that. And the backside too has more prints there of the necklace and his bone collection, I guess. And he has his trusty spear. Yeah, nice to see someone new on the set. And this guy, he's known as the Elders. So his face is covered up. The beard and the hair is one piece, and this actually looks like the Cape Man from the Lego City series that I do have. It's exactly the same. Maybe I should compare it. Well, there's the Lego's Cape Man, and I was totally wrong. They look really different from each other. And now that I look at the beard on the Lego one, it looks better because the one on Ding Bao kind of have a gap there between the neck. Now while I'm here, a lot of people have been asking why Ding Bao's legs look so different, like their asses on the front. Don't ask me, man. Look at the sides there. Kind of looks like the butt is on the front, yeah? No? I don't know. Design thing, man. Same printing as the warrior, but underneath his face, take that off so you can see it. Look at his teeth, man. Shark teeth. That's spooky looking. He's got the same spear as warrior. So there you go. That is elders. Last but not least, you have chieftain. Chieftain. The chief. Dude, he looks totally like the guy that rips out the heart in Indiana Jones. Or maybe not, but at least his printing is different. And he looks like a leader. He's got a little bit of milk left over on his lips there. Printing looks good. A little bit of a smear on his belly. The backside is different from the front, which is cool. And I like his top piece. They use that in other sets too. The Cobra and his staff. I like how they use a little red stud on there to kind of bring it out a little bit more. But you know, he wants to tear your heart out. So there you go. That's the minifigures for this set. On to the last one, guys. The biggest one. You ready for this? Dear, you want to take it away while I move everything here? Go for it. So this is Sing Bell's Forest Adventure. Mysterious City, XB15006, 1,280 pieces. That's a lot of pieces. All right, now we're talking. This looks really, really cool. My favorite, of course it is, the biggest one. It might look pretty nice set against like your background. It can go in like a mountain scene. I kind of wish it was more fuller. Like it does kind of cut in half in the back here. Oh, sorry to burst your bubble. Something like that. Man, imagine if it came out and it was like a modular, like cave or tomb inside. Maybe you guys can remock it, extend it out and just make this little modular Tomb Raider-ish kind of level. That'd be kind of cool. But before we look into this, first we have a vehicle right here. Yeah, check that out. Rolls great. Oh, look, everything's falling out. Now this vehicle actually really reminds me of the fishing store. Why? It's got so much content on it. It's actually really cool. It's a bit open, so it looks more like an outdoorsy type of vehicle. What's cool about it? It's all the items on the top. It looks so neat. There's so much stuff in here. You know, I'll put these all into close-ups. You got a wrench, you got hammers, bags, backpacks, walkie-talkies, a little map there. That's a cool little map. And binoculars, and you got two more boxes up here. Nothing inside, so you can fill them up with your cell. And you got a treasure chest on this rooftop piece. This rooftop piece is actually really interesting how they did this. It's funny, it's not really secure here, but it's just held on to the front there. And it just rests on a single tiny little pole right there like that. No doors, but we don't need no doors. All right, so this piece on the back is kind of like a flap, I guess. It would have been nicer to maybe have a cloth material hanging down. That kind of would have been cool. You got to pull it off if you want to get a minifigure in there. And it is really tight on the back. There's a little bag inside there. You can probably just put accessories back there. It's not really meant for a minifigure, I guess. And the side's actually really cool. It has a bucket hanging there and another hammer type tool or ice pick, I'm not sure. Shovel on the other side and a step to go up into the car so you can fit too many figures nicely in there. Steering wheel, dashboard, no prints on the dashboard, but everything up here kind of makes up for it. What's cool is you can actually hang the minifigures like off the side here on the pole and stuff. This is actually better than a big vehicle. See, sometimes you don't have to go so big to make everything a little bit smaller and still look kind of cool. Or maybe you don't like this at all. I like it. These guys go driving over here and you come to this thing. First of all, We'll just start with the trees on the side because like I mentioned, it's kind of all movable and it's adjustable. I don't even know if I have it right from the manual. It's probably all wrong, but you know, sometimes some of these leaves like this might be a little bit top heavy. So you might have to push them in a little bit more. Don't forget, I'm shifting these things from the office from home and I'm shooting with it. And so sometimes they might not be perfect, but there, now we're all secure. Same deal, man. I had a lot of missing pieces on this, small ones, but luckily enough, I wouldn't say a lot, maybe like three pieces. 
With having all the sets, again, I had enough to kind of make up for whatever piece was missing. If I really have to nitpick, then Bao, can you just please get your act together and put the right pieces in the bag? They give you a lot of spares, which is really funny because half the spares aren't the ones that you're looking for. Enough of me ranting on this. I like the look of it, I like the printing. Where do we start? We'll start here on the front. Lots of vegetation plants. Again, the color tone is very marshy. It looks kind of a wet look to me. I like how they place the flowers. You can probably place it however you like. Look at the bones on that side. Something's gonna go down over there. But let's look at the staircase here. They could have made it really boring, but they did vary it up a little bit. They offset some pieces and they had some studs there so you can put some minifigures walking up if you wanted to. And I just noticed shooting this thing now, a little gap right there. I wonder if I screwed up on that. And you got these two pillars here on the side. I'm so sorry, I'm taking so long to do videos. I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Please forgive me for doing other brands. Do more Legos, please, Cody. So I'm guessing those are guys that are just kind of like worshiping and bowing down, but you can kind of like tilt it up if you wanted to and be like, do not enter this city. The tip of the head though, that, that piece right there, that looks kind of wrong, but okay. Look, those are all prints. I think one of them was like upside down, was it? No, maybe they're the right way around. I can't remember anymore. And just like the other set, this one actually can move. It can tilt down, look at that. Welcome to the city of bricks. Very cool function. It'll probably pop off on you. Like that, look, it just popped off on me, see? Be gentle with it, like push it down. Look, it's locked in there for sure now. It ain't going nowhere. Look at you. Oh, now it's going somewhere. You don't even know how to fix it. Shut up, dear. Nice touch, at least you can use your imagination if you want to play with it, or you can do your stop motion, or if you don't like it, then you don't like it. But I like the gold look on this whole thing itself. And then we move up here, more prints along the top there, and two trees here that are kind of loose. They swivel on their own. You can just pull them out if you don't want to use them. And then you come to the top. I like how it's all flushed out. Very nice indeed. Now, if you go to the back here, if I swing here like that, look. Nothing, nothing there. Oh, hollow. They have a little secret space down there. You can probably put more stuff. You can probably put some spiders and some bugs here if you wanted to. That's it for that part. Now we come over to this section, the rocky wall. Now it does have a special feature. On the side of the statue, there's a little brown piece. Can you see that? The little skeleton head right there? That little skeleton head can move if you push it. So what happens if I push it? See if I can see it on the camera, ready? Yeah, one, two, three, look. Oh, what just fell out of there? Look, oh, skulls, lots and lots of skulls. It's a nice little feature. So you got lots of heads here. So if you just want heads or figures for heads, there you go. So yeah, this rock piece, just kind of, you push this back and you just kind of set this here. Man, I hope I had this right the whole time. And how are you gonna put these back in? Well, on the back side here, there's a little hatch. So open this hatch, then you just drop the heads inside there, and you're good. Yay! So there you guys go. That's it for this. Yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? I just kind of wish every Force Adventure had a set this big, or even bigger, and you can attach it and make like a really cool looking city. Unfortunately, you can't, unless Thing Bao keeps up with this theme. I wonder if a minifigure would fit in this hatch. Who should we put inside? Let's put Explorer on here. I probably have to take his backpack off so he can fit. Probably get stuck in there, man. Here we go, you ready? It's like the Goonies going down that slide to the pirate ship. There he is. Oh no, he is stuck. Oh no, I can't get him out now. Here, we'll go this way. Pull him out from the top, here. Can you go down like that? Nope, bending their leg makes it worse. Oh, he can fit through, figure can fit through. And of course, we can't forget the minifigures. Again, you're gonna repeat, so here we go. So you got the elders here, had the spear, that beard again. You got explore. I'm just glad this is gonna be the last time we see these guys. Scientist, the geographer, and the photographer. Yo, yeah, you know what? Now in the last few videos, actually quite funny. If you look on the manual, I sometimes show you guys or here, her hair is actually black under that blue cap. That was a total misprint. So I don't know if they're gonna fix that or not. It's up to them, man. Just replace that hair piece anyway. Almost forgot to drop test 
this guy, I actually don't want to drop this, this because, man, so many small pieces. I, I'm scared. Three, two, one. Oh, see, I gotta pick all that stuff up. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, backpack went there, crowbar here, tools here, walkie there, put that back there. Okay, and where did this come from? I don't know where this came from. Where did it come, did it come on the front like that? No. I'm so scared to do this. Five, four, three, two, one. I gotta drop it straight. I don't wanna tilt it. I mess up on this thing. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, pretty cool. Only this side came off. And the, the branch, oh, so the branch has to go on first. So here are the two sets for you. Break out your 32 by 32 base plate so we can measure this. Now it's not all gonna fit on a single base plate, so we're gonna just do this one by one in the order of the video. Let's do it. I need some model's hands, man. Anyway, here's the first one, the tree house. Look at that. All right, that is 12 studs on all four sides. It's around there, roughly. Now let's check the height. All right, break out your one by fours. Here's mine, stack them up together. Keep on going and put it down and we'll measure it to there. It's like really close to that. That is around 19 studs in height. Now let's go on to the next one. All right, now we got Monkey Island here. And just so you know, the length from the monkey head only, this piece right there, that is around 17 studs by length. And including this part right here, that is 24 studs in length. Now, if you were to fold it like this, if I try not to move the whole thing like that there, it actually is minus two. So it's around 22 studs in length. Now let's check the width. So without this piece here, it's kind of around 16 studs by width. It's kind of a funky design right there. And of course, with this piece added on, it's an extra stud, maybe two, around 18 studs by width. Now let's check the height. We'll do this right from the back so you can see it better. Tip of the monkey's head. There you go. 12 bricks in height. All right, here's the vehicle. I'm gonna rotate a little bit like that so you guys can see and get a better idea. That is 14 studs by length and by width. It will do it in the back so you can see. It's around eight studs by width. Here's my bricks again. Stack it right here. Oh, look at that. It's just kind of like right there. Nine bricks in height. And of course you probably wanna see what it looks like on a road. Let's do it, shall we? Here's the road, look at that. Oh. Fits pretty nice on there, I like that. But of course, all these ones behind it don't really go with it. But there you go. If you wanna see what it looks like on a road plate, for those of you who always ask me for one. All right, wow, look at the city, there it is. All right, so that's almost the entire base plate. That is 30 studs by length, excluding the trees. I mean, it's gonna just stick out a lot more. But you get the idea, right? Let's check the width. That's around 18 studs by width. And I just wanna mention that because it's so skinny and tall, it is a little bit flimsy here. It's loosened up for sure since I did the drop test, but you know, that's because it is thin. Please someone make this bigger on the back. And speaking of the back, let's grab the one by four while we're looking at it and see how high this thing is. Oh, right there, right there. Oh, look, oh, 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 oh. That is pretty close to 20 bricks in height. Look at that. Yeah. So there you guys go. That's your dimensions. All right, you guys, the sun is just about gone. It's time for me to get out of here and close up. Thank you so much for watching and joining in on the channel. If you haven't, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell too, so new videos will come out hopefully a little bit faster. Thanks for hanging in there. And I really love reading all your guys' comments. And you know, I gotta finish up some other videos now, all right? So dear, you take it away. Well, it's about dang time. Go break yourself up. <laughs> hey, you forgot me, Scotty. Hello. But just be careful when you're moving this thing, it will like fall apart on you. That's thing about, man. Why did I shift the camera around? It looks like I'm off-centered. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry if I look off-centered a little bit. You know, I'm doing all this stuff on my own. You know, if you have OCD, sorry. So last but not least, uh, last but not least, Simba. Simba. <laughs> that actually looks kind of creepy, man, when you move it. Like that, look at the teeth. The teeth freak me out, man. 
How dare you talk about me? Who designed me like this? Jing Bao, you have too many missing pieces. You are fired. How are you going to explain to the kids about the skeleton on the side? That's so wrong. The sun came back out, Scotty. How about that? Enough of that, Scotty. I'm losing the sun. Stay there, son. Come back out, please. Look, it is getting brighter, huh? Can you see that? See? All you gotta do is ask for the sun. And it'll come out. Let's, let's do the wave. <laughs> Dear, can I go home yet? No way! Please? You've got so much stuff to review. You ain't going nowhere. You wanna show how we change your face, your eyes? Not really. For every video, like this. Ouch! Does that hurt? How dare you? Yeah. You like that? Does that hurt? No, poor dear! Okay, don't show the kids that scene, okay? We'll fix them up, don't worry, dear. You better! Look at all your eyes that have been on here before. Don't be scared, kitties. I'm fine, kids. They'll be back brand new. And then we'll, maybe we'll do this one next. I don't know. This one's pretty big to do. Oh, man. I can't believe those spiders made us crash land here. Oh, man. But that is okay. We can camp for a night. And we got the spiders. We will cook them for dinner. But we lost the scientist. He was such a good man. May you rest in peace, my brother. Scientists would want us to eat the spider. Come on, eat up. We cannot waste any more time. We have one more place to go. Yeah, you're right. Hey, look. Someone's coming. Oops, sorry, dear. Hey, you guys aren't supposed to be over here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Because I have the car. So hop on in. Let's go to the last location and finish this thing. And don't forget to support me and print out all the photos. It'll cost you $500. 500 bucks? What a ripoff. All right, dear. This better be worth it. Okay, guys. Here we are in a mysterious city. Dear, you go to the staircase. Mini Scotty, you check that mountain there. Go look for the final treasure. And that would be the end of the forest adventures. Alrighty. What am I looking for? Look at all these bones. Something ain't right. Hmm, okay, what am I looking for? Ooh, those statues look kind of freaky. Hmm, I see nothing. Oh, wait, there's a door back here. Scotty, I think I found something, but I can't open it. Is there anything over there? Maybe, I see a skeleton up there. Dear, it's attached to something. Can you get it? Yeah, right, I see a switch back there. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna push it now. Ah, oh, skeletons, so many skeletons. This is freaking me out. You'll explore, man. There ain't no treasure in there, just a bunch of skeletons. Yeah, and that was freaky. What's up with that? How relax, you guys, it's part of the plan. Look behind you. So you're the guys that defeated the spiders. Thank you so much. I will give you the prize. And uh, just ignore those skeletons, okay? Why is this not opening up? Oh, it's stuck. Oh, man. Sorry for the inconvenience, guys. The ride will now be closed until further notice. Dude, what a ripoff! First 500 bucks for photos, and now this ride is broken down? Man, we want a refund! This sucks! It's okay, my friends. I found a backup generator. It should be working now. Talk about breaking immersion! Yeah, right? Let's just finish this thing, man. Let's go find out what's back there. That's a treasure? A key? Better be good, whatever this key leads to. Ooh, you got the key! I gotta get back in character. That key stays here. You cannot have it. Yeah, now that's more like him. Scotty, don't give him the key. I want to see what happens. Dear, you for real? Don't forget, I am the one who will give my life to sacrifice for you. Now take the key and go to the monkey head. I'm hurt, but it is okay. Go, my friends. Go. Oh, we lost Explorer. How sad. Yeah, we got to admit, man. That was pretty bad acting. Now, what's this monkey thing we were looking for? What is this? I'm freaked out. Look at all those statues. It's so scary. I don't think we should be here. There ain't no monkey here. Just a mother effing snake. Oh, wait a minute. There's a little monkey there. Hey, little guy. Uh, I don't think he's talking about that monkey. I think he's talking about that big one right there. Look at that thing. Hey, man. I feel you, too. I have this key here. and I have no idea what to do with it. Hello there, laddies. What can I do for you? Oh, I see you found the key. Well, you won. Behind this throne is a treasure chest. Now go get your treasure. 
Okay, I really have no idea what's going on. Let's finish this. Ooh, I wonder what it is. Come on, open, 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 open. All right, all right, all right. Hold your antlers. Let's do this. You've got to be joking. A map? After all the things we did, we get a map? Ah. Well, congratulations, guys. You've got the map. Your next set review. That is your prize. Yay! Are you serious? That's the prize? Well, we will review sets anyway. Now, the good news is, what you're going to visit is a brand new Central Auction Box. It's an amusement park. And there's a big prize waiting for you there. I promise. All right, lady. i got to put my trust in you. So thank you again for playing, guys. And for everyone out there, the sets are available on BBFScotty.com. Go get yours today. Yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And we'll catch you guys later right here. Now let's get out of here. What?